Welcome to Lesson 2. How are weather patterns different? Patterns of weather vary, that means are different, from place to place. People must protect themselves during severe weather. Weather patterns. Changes in weather follow patterns. Weather patterns depend on the sun and water and where you live. Places near oceans have different weather patterns than places far from oceans. For example, the western part of Washington state touches the Pacific Ocean. Air moves in from this ocean. In winter, warm air from over the ocean has lots of condensed water vapor in the form of clouds. Precipitation falls from the clouds as rain over the western valleys. As they move east, the clouds get pushed up the side of the Cascade Mountains. The clouds get colder as they rise. The condensed water vapor in them falls as snow. The western part of the state thus has a pattern of wet and snowy weather in winter. The eastern part of the state has another weather pattern in winter. After the air has crossed the mountains, much of the water vapor is gone. As a result, the eastern part of the state has a cold, as a pattern of cold, dry weather. And here are the pictures and the captions for this lesson on, on this page. Here we have Western Washington State has a pattern of cool, wet winters. And then the next picture we have the eastern part of the state. Eastern Washington state has a pattern of cold, dry winters. And then here are some of the average temperatures in the winter in Washington state. On the west side, we have 5 degrees Celsius, which is about 41 degrees Fahrenheit. And the average rainfall is about 30 centimeters. In the eastern part of the state, we have a minus, two, a minus 2 degrees Celsius and 28 degrees Fahrenheit, just below freezing, and an average rainfall of 6 centimeters. All deserts are dry, but deserts are not all the same. Some deserts are cold while others are hot. Each has its own weather pattern. North America has four large desert regions. One desert with a rainy summer season is the Sonoran Desert. It is in the southern part of Arizona and California. The Sonoran Desert receives some winter rain from storms that reach it from the Pacific Ocean. But most rain occurs as short, heavy downpours during the hot summer. The average rainfall during the summer is 5 centimeters, about 2 inches. The moist air for this rain comes up from the Gulf of California. The wide, shallow roots of the saguaro cactus soak up the rain. The tall spires of the cactus then fill up like sponges. The cactus stores the water for later use. And let's see the pictures on this page. In the hot summer of the saguaro cactus stores water from storms. Winter rain causes spring wildflowers in the Sonoran Desert. And then here are the seasons in the Sonoran Desert. And you can see all the seasons on the left and their average temperature and their average rainfall. It looks like most of the rain comes in the summertime. And here's some checkpoint questions that we'll talk about in class. What do weather patterns depend on? Okay, let's turn to the next page. Dangerous storms. Some storms bring only rain. Other storms can be dangerous. Thunderstorms can be dangerous because lightning can strike people or objects. 
People should find shelter during thunderstorms. Other storms are even more dangerous. A hurricane is a huge storm. Hurricanes form over oceans. They have winds of at least 119 kilometers or 74 miles per hour. Heavy rains, strong winds, and huge waves cause damage. These waves can lift boats right out of the water and flip them over. In most cases, people know about hurricanes a day or two before they strike. A tornado is a spinning funnel-shaped column of air that touches the ground. Tornadoes are much smaller than hurricanes, however their winds are stronger. Tornadoes form beneath thunderstorm clouds. They can form suddenly and without warning. When a tornado starts, people must go to safe places. They must stay away from windows. So here is an example of a hurricane, a satellite point of view. A satellite high above Earth took this picture of the swirling winds of a hurricane. And then down here we have a picture of a tornado. And you can see how it touches the ground. Sudden heavy rains can cause floods. Very high waves can cause floods too. Water from flooding can block roads and damage homes. People usually have some warning that an area may flood. Then they must move to higher ground. A blizzard is a winter storm. Blizzards have low temperatures and lots of blowing snow. People can get lost or stuck in the snow. They can also get too cold to move to warm shelter. Radio and television stations send out storm safety information. The National Weather Service puts out watches and warnings. These warn people about dangerous storms. A watch means that a storm could happen where you live. A warning means that a storm is already in or near your area. So a watch is where they're watching for one, and a warning means they've seen one. Everyone should listen to storm safety reports. Anyone who hears a warning should take action to stay safe. Here's an example of damage of a hurricane. Hurricanes do the most damage when they move over land. Remember, they start in the ocean. And here's a blizzard. Students head for home when a winter storm watch warns of a blizzard. Most, most tornadoes do damage along a narrow path. And then the last one about flooding. Heavy rains caused a flood that blocks this road. You can see the water on the road there. And there we go. So join us next time for our next uh, reading. Bye.